Today in this video, we will see how can we implement the functionality of get customers in Spring Boot and Angular. So let's get started. You can see here in the previous video, I have implemented the functionality of post new customer in Spring Boot and Angular. So let's create an API in Spring Boot. And after that, we will call this API from Angular. So you can see here the class that is customer service. So here I'm going to create a new method. So the method name is get all customers and it will return a list of customers. So here we need to return customer repository dot find all. It will return all records from our database. So let's call this method from our customer controller. And here we need to return customer service dot get all customer method let me add here the annotation that is get mapping we we'll call this api and here we need to put the url so let's run the application and test the api you can see here application is upon 8080 let me open the postman and here you can see the url of our backend application slash api slash customers and here we need to select get click on this send button and you can see we got a response here are the records that saved in our database and here the status that is 200 okay so let's call this api from our angular so first of all let's register our get all customers component in app routing module.ts I have put here an empty path you can see here let's go with this url and you can see that get all customer works and here is the css code you can see the properties and here you can see the button that is a post new customer this button is used to navigate the user from get all customers to post customer component and here is the table tag where i have a t hat with the four t rows name email phone and action and here is the t body where t we are we have t trs that is name email phone and the two buttons that is update and delete so let's go to our ui and here you can see the button and the table so let's add here the router link and the address of our post customer component of this button so let me add here router link and here we need to pass the url of our post customer component so you can see here the url that is customer so let's add here slash customer let's click on this button and you can see it's navigating to our post customer component okay so let's start the implementation of the api let's go to our customer service and here i'm going to create a method that is get all this dot http dot get and in the argument of get we need to pass the url of our backend application and then the url of our api the url is of our api is slash api slash customer let's call this api from our component I've injected here the service in our get all customer component. I have also added lifecycle hook in our component. Let's create the method that is get all customer. this dot customer service dot get all customer this method is created in our customer service later i have subscribed this to get the response and uh, have saved the response into this variable 
and I have added a statement that is console log to print the response in our console. So to invoke this method, we need to call here in ng on init lifecycle hook with this keyword. And here we need to add get all customers. Let's go to our UI. Let me open here the inspect. Let me refresh the component. And you can see we got a response from our backend. So let's show the response into our UI. For this, I'm initializing in here with empty array. And I gave all the response to this customer's array. So let's fetch this customer's array in our HTML. So we need to add here a loop in our TR section. So we need to use ng for, and here we need to initialize the variable that is let customer of customers. So this variable will get the record one by one. And here we need to bind everything like customer dot name. Customer dot email. And you can see here there that is property name does not exist on type never. So let me add here any array and you can see so let's add here a font so and you can see we are seeing the data from our database so now i'm comment this t hat okay so let's go to our post new customer and here I'm going to add a customer like customer three. You can see here customer three is posted successfully. So here after the posting new customer, we need to navigate the user from this component to get all customers component. So for this, we need to inject here a router in our constructor. And there we need to use this dot. There we need to we give the URL of our get all customers component. Now we can see the customer is posted successfully with the customer phone name and it's also navigate us to get all customers component. Okay. So that's all for now. I hope you like this video. If you have any confusion, you can do a comment and uh, also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thank you. Take care. Bye.